So a brand new package came in the mail today, and I was really happy to find out that it came from my friends over at Joyo. And what are we checking out today? It is the brand new Chopper Z Overdrive pedal. Let's get into it. When Joyo asked me if I wanted to check out a brand new product for them, of course, I'm gonna to wanna to know exactly what this product is. They said it is an overdrive pedal that has three different functions. It can be put through the effects loop for the power amp section. It can be boosting the front of your amplifier for the preamp section, or it can be used as a standalone pedal with a cab simulator. And of course, any natural response would be, why is it not in my hand right now? Why am I not holding it? Or why is it not on an airplane coming to my house at this very second? Well, that is where the Joyo Chopper Z comes in. And that's something I've always loved about Joyo is they are fearless. They come up with really innovative ideas for new equipment to bring a whole new slew of tone to you. Let's take a look at the features on this bad boy here. We have a volume knob. We have a three band EQ, a bass, treble, and middle. Obviously a gain knob because it is an overdrive pedal. You gotta have gain with it. There is a output mode and this is where you're gonna be able to switch it from a preamp to power amp or to the cab simulator mode. And the cab simulator mode, it has um, a lot of, here I'll put it a little bit closer. It has a lot of space for you to turn the knob. And from my own experience, that acts kind of like an EQ sweep, or like if you're moving the microphone from one end of the cone on the driver to the other side. And I think that's a really cool idea. That way you can find the perfect spot for it. And then you can really dial in your tone with the three band EQ. And then on the other side, we have a built in noise gate, which you guys know me, I'm always a big fan of noise gates. And then on the bottom, we have a fat boost, which will really bulk up your low mids and your low frequencies and really give you a nice thick tone. And then obviously your bypass over on this side. On the back side, we have our input, our plug-in for the power supply and an output. Let's go ahead and plug this guy in and see all the different sounds that we can get out of it. I am going to be showing you guys an in-mix demo today and I'm going to be periodically changing between the different output modes. So from the preamp mode to the power amp mode and also to the cab simulator mode just to really show you how different of a sound you can get from each mode. Before we begin, I do have to let you know that this is a sponsored video because Joyo has sent me the Chopper Z and asked me to create a review for you. But obviously any thoughts or opinions will be my own. I wanna keep this as unbiased and honest of a review as possible. Also, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notifier and smash that like button so I know you guys are enjoying it. And I will be more than happy to continue making awesome videos for you. So let's get into it. So this pedal put me through my paces 
I put the pedal through its paces. Something I found very interesting about this pedal is I ran it through a few different amplifiers and first I ran it through the 5150 Iconic series from EVH and it sounded great actually boosting the front of that amplifier but then I moved it to the power section in the effects loop and it had a weird high sizzle that I just could not get rid of. So I pulled it from the 5150, I plugged it into my Victory Kraken amplifier, sounded great going through the front of the amplifier, also sounded really good going through the power section in the effects loop, and that's the one that you heard in the demo today. So I don't think that's anything wrong with the pedal. I think it reacts differently to different amplifiers. Obviously different amplifiers will have different gain stagings, different sounding gains, and this pedal just kind of reacts to them. So I think it works better with some amplifiers better than others. And then the cab simulator mode, the standalone pedal, it's very mid heavy. So for my playing style, I had to really scoop out those mids and make it not so boxy. And I'm not saying that mid heavy tones are a bad thing whatsoever. It works great for some styles of playing, but for my style where it's genty, where it is very staccato and just really heavy metal essentially, I think it works best if you scoop out some of those mids, but the noise gate actually worked beautifully as a standalone pedal versus the power section or the preamp section where there was just a little bit of noise coming through. So if I'm using it to boost the front of my amplifier or put it through the effects loop, I will probably be using a third party noise gate pedal just to keep the pedal in check and make sure nothing makes its way through, especially on those very choppy breakdown pieces. You can hear where I stopped the strings and when I started. So that'll just kind of clean it up a little bit. But overall, I think you can get a great, great tone out of this amplifier. I mean, I really enjoyed the tones that I heard today. What did you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I do want to put out a special thank you to Joyo for sending me the Chopper Z and letting me do a review and kind of try it out for myself. I had a ton of fun with this pedal and I think it opens up a huge, huge world of tone options for guitar playing. So definitely if you guys would like to get your hands on your own Chopper Z, I will have the link for that down in the description below. And then also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notifier, and smash that like button so I know you guys are enjoying it, and I will be more than happy to continue making awesome videos for you. Other than that, guys, my name is Chris with High Impact Audio, and I will see you next time.